Water quality data from the Wisconsin Citizen Lake Monitoring Network is available anytime for any lake participating in the network by going to the DNR Lake pages at dnr.wisconsin.gov slash topic slash lakes. Data reports are best viewed on a computer or tablet. We recommend bookmarking this page so you can easily return to it. On the lake's homepage, scroll down and click on the lake water quality data box. Go ahead and choose the county of the lake that you're interested in, and then you'll choose from a list of lakes within that county. You can either scroll down to the lake name or click on one of the letters near the top of the screen to list only the lakes that start with that letter. If a lake is listed more than once, you want to choose the line that says Deep Hole. The Deep Hole location will have the most data associated with it. Click on Details on the right side of the box. Now click on the blue button that says Open the Water Explorer. This button will launch the Water Explorer tool and automatically load data for the lake you selected. This page will take between a few seconds to a few minutes to load, depending on your internet connection speed and the amount of data available for your lake and surrounding watershed. Once the page has fully loaded, you will see a map of your lake and watershed on the left side and a trophic state index graph in the middle of your screen. The Water Explorer tool provides a variety of graphs and tables to display your lake's data in different ways and includes a button to download a report of Citizen Lake Monitoring Network data. We'll come back to that button in a minute. If you click on the different tabs near the top of the screen, you can view data on water clarity, total phosphorus, and chlorophyll A concentrations. These graphs are interactive, so you can zoom in on a graph to see a detailed display of the data. For example, if you want to take a closer look at the data from just 2015 to 2020, you can click and drag a box over the graph to zoom in on just those years. You can also hover over any point to see the specific data from that day and the date that it was collected. To go back to the full graph view, just double click anywhere in the graph. Now let's go back to the downloadable CLMN report on the overview tab. You can click on the download CLMN report button to get a PDF version that compiles all of the graphs and tables for you into one simple document and provides some interpretation of the data. This PDF file can easily be shared with others or printed. Selecting the current year in the drop-down box will compile all of that year's data and also create graphs that compare all years of data on your lake. Again, this download may take 10 seconds or more depending on your internet speed. The file will go directly to the Downloads folder on your computer. You may also see a pop-up box that tells you that the download is complete and allows you to open the file directly from there. The CLMN report will give you some quick lake statistics and a brief table of contents on the first page. Page 2 has a graph of trophic state index values based on water clarity, total phosphorus, and chlorophyll A data that you collected. The trophic state index value is a representation of the level of nutrients in the lake water. Keep in mind that these graphs are no longer interactive like they were on the Water Explorer website, so you won't be able to zoom in or hover over a point to see more details. The next page looks at water clarity of the lake as an annual average of July and August data. Longer bars indicate a greater water clarity. In this graph, the greatest midsummer water clarity average was about 17 feet, and the typical range of water clarity was between 10 and 15 feet. Page 4 goes into greater detail of water clarity over time, and it looks at data collected during the entire year. If there are solid lines on the graph, these are indicating a significant trend in water clarity for a particular time of year. The two lines on this graph show that there is a trend toward increasing water clarity during late summer and fall. Pages 5 and 6 show similar graphs for total phosphorus and chlorophyll A concentrations in the lake water. If there are no solid lines on the graph, there are no significant upward or downward trends in these data. Starting at page 7, the report will list each of your individual data entries and display temperature and dissolved oxygen graphs if you collected that information. These charts show information from four different dates in 2023. If we look at the August 28th data on the left graph, we can see that the water temperature from the surface to about 20 feet deep was in the 70s. Beyond that depth, temperature quickly decreased to near 50 degrees at 40 feet down. We can also see that the dissolved oxygen on this date was above 8 milligrams per liter until about 15 feet, when oxygen levels quickly decreased and eventually ended up near zero around 30 feet of depth. These reports are updated every week. Water chemistry results may take five to six weeks to show in the report after mailing samples to the state lab due to the huge number of samples that the lab receives in the summer and needs to process.
If you have questions about your data report, please reach out to your local Citizen Lake Monitoring Network contact or DNR Lake Biologist for help. Thank you for being part of our team to monitor the health of Wisconsin's beautiful lakes.